Hello everyone, this is Hacker. Welcome to the channel. Today is Friday, October 16th. And here's a list of the daily challenges of Madame Nazar's location. Madame Nazar, she's going to be located out west. Let me get down there. Over here near Twin Rocks. And the nearest fast travel is going to be Armadillo. Okay, so now on to the dailies. We have one finished showdown in any showdown series. 29 player enemies looted. Three player kills with a pistol in free roam events. Two seagulls plucked. One visit to Shop in Valentine. One visit to Katora Springs. And then three weapons clean with gun all. Okay, so the first uh, finish, uh, finish showdown in any showdown series for that, you're going to have to press left on D pad. Go to quick join. And you can do takeover series, shootout series, feature series. And as long as you complete it, you don't have to win. Just complete, and that challenge will be completed. Then we have uh, 29 player enemies looted. For that, every enemy that you kill, NPC wise, uh, go ahead and loot. And once you get 20, that challenge will be completed. Three player kills with a pistol and free roam events. Uh, you, you'll need a PvP. And the pop up the left hand side of the corner, like Cold Dead Hands, Railroad Bearing, King of the Castle, Dispatch Rider. Just go ahead and take your pistols in. Make sure it's pistols, not revolvers or sh sawed off shotguns. And once you get three player kills, that challenge will be completed. Two seagulls plucked. I'll just show you some locations where it may, there may be seagulls. Let's see. So it'll be over here. You can find them at Thieves Landing here, especially along this little bridge, this area here. You can see them on the rails. Uh, you can catch them in Blackwater right along the cliffs over here, even all the way up this area here. You can catch them on this side over here at Flatiron Lake and here in this area. And you can catch them, of course, in these chains of islands here. They'll be sitting on the, like the edges, edges of the cliffs, and sometimes near the coast. Over here in Saint Denis, and right there near Caliga Hall in this area, especially right in this area here, there's a garbage pile, and over here there's a garbage pile. Uh, they'll be there, and uh, I, my favorite spot to go to would be Van Horn. In this area, there's dot right here in this area, or even uh, Ansberg in this area. You can find seagulls, and sometimes you can find them flying around or on rooftops. Go ahead and uh, get your seagull kill, a skid, or your puck to, and then that challenge will be completed. One visit the shop in Valentine, just go to Valentine, uh, go to the fat, or you can fast drop or just ride, and uh, run, run past the butcher or visit any other shop, and that challenge will be completed. One visit the Couture Springs, well, what I do is fast travel up to the Wapiti where I'm at right now, and here's Couture Springs, everybody's uh, needing to know right here. And like I said, fast travel is Wapiti Indian Reservation. And once you get to Wapiti, that challenge will be completed. And then you need three weapons clean with gun oil for that. Just when your guns are dirty, uh, claim a gun oil. You can claim one clean by using the weapon wheel and select the gun you want by pressing R3. Uh, you can buy gun oil out of the catalogs and uh, you just go to camp and collect it or the post office and collect it and then unclean them. That's it for generals. Rose, we've got one bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left. Just when you do your, uh, your bounty, make sure you bring it in before the five minute clock. And that challenge will be completed. Three bounty targets brought in. Just bring in any three bounty targets. And then that challenge will be completed. And you need three bounty targets last from horseback. So when your uh, bounty is running away, either on foot or on a horseback, while you're on a horseback, throw your lasso three times around out your bounties. And that challenge will be completed. 20 carcasses donate within 10 minutes. Just donate any 10 carcasses to Crips. I try to donate to, to small animals that fit in your satchel. And then, uh, once you get 20, that challenge will be completed. Three donated deadly predator carcasses skins. The easiest would be alligators, but you, you could donate wolves, cougars, panthers, bears. And like I said, just donate uh, three, and then that challenge will be completed. Actually, you can go hand in hand with this and this. Six large animal carcasses donated crypts. Just donate anything that fits in the back of the deer. I'm back of the deer. Back of the horse, like deer, pronghorn, uh, wolves, uh, any kind of whole carcasses. And. Uh, the only thing that doesn't count on the back of your horse would be coyotes and uh, foxes. They don't count as large or mediums. And then we have one antique alcohol drunk. Just go ahead and open your satchel and drink an antique alcohol. Or if you don't have any, go to open up, actually open up a map of alcohol bottles and uh, go, go to those local locations. And when you get one, slam it and that challenge will be completed.
You need two collectibles found with a metal detector. The easiest would be coins and fossils. Just go to open up a map of those or use a player interactive map, which I'll provide a link below and get to with a metal detector and then that challenge will be completed. And then Lost Jerry, sometimes Lost Jerry you can find with a metal detector also. But Lost Jerry, you need three of them. Open up a map of Lost Jerry from Adam Nazar and go to those three locations or go to that player map, which I'll provide the link below. Uh, 4,827 distant moonshine wagon traveled on a mission. For that, when you got a batch of moonshine ready to rock and roll, go ahead and deliver it. And uh, what, sometimes this challenge requires uh, multiple deliveries, but you got to go 4,827 feet. And once you do that, challenge will be completed. Two moonshine preferred type sold to a buyer. This one's just broken, but normally you would sell anybody but Burr Higgins. Uh, and then that challenge will be completed. Four moonshine served to other players at a bar. Just go downstairs, invite someone in your in your shack, have them lean against the bar, order, uh, request a drink, and then serve four. And the naturals, we got seven crafted or cooked at a wilderness camp. You get the wilderness camp from Harriet, and all you do is you can find the wilderness camp on your weapon wheel at the very bottom, and then uh, just craft seven, and that challenge will be completed. Three desert animal samples taken. Just go out to the desert and sample three animals, like such as uh, like. Band uh, banded armadillos uh, uh, or desert iguanas and go ahead and uh, sample those three and that challenge will be completed and last one two hardy tonics when too hot or too cold you can get your hardy tonics from uh, Harriet and then put on something warm and walk around in uh, the desert while you get your animal samples and uh, slam it or you can go up here to culture and wear not don't wear a jacket and when you get cold slam it or as a word of advice so if you're going to this challenge Stay away from Crip Stew. Crip Stew will make you, uh, uh, take you longer to get hot. And that's it for the rolls, guys. Once again, Mount Lazar, she's going to be located over here, just just west of, Ar uh, west of Armadillo here in, Couture, in uh, yeah, Twin Rocks. And then, that and then uh, the nearest fast travel is going to be Armadillo. Okay, guys, I wish everybody luck on their dailies and later.